Hi, I'm Elke Valovirta, and this one is about Sunny Cake's Warped Dimension Chorus, Flanger, Phaser, and Tremolo pedal in one housing. All right, the warp dimension is on the pedal board, it's in front of the amp. So the gear on the signal chain is uh, my Washburn N4 made in Japan with uh, wild pickups, Pill and Becky L500XL in the bridge, Duncan 59 in the neck, then it's on the pedal board. And I'm gonna compare, you can see it, but it's, it's there. I'll put a picture of my MXR EVH Phase 90, Bass Flanger BF2 and Bass Chorus CE5 because this warp dimension this has a Phaser Flanger Chorus and Tremolo which I don't have but we'll check that out too. Then the signal goes to ADA MP1 preamp from the 80s, then into Mesa Boogie Mark 5's power amp and it's set to 90 watt, you know, simul class power, then into my 1960. VX cabinet, which I'm I'm having a Celestin G75 mm, in the in the upper row. The bottom row has greenbacks. The upper row has G75s. That blend is actually pretty good because G75 is a bit kind of really big low and 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 a bit distant. Not being my favorite speaker, but it works really well with this combination and especially when blended in with, with a, a greenback or a V30. But now it's just the T75 mic with only one mic, Sennheiser's E906. Then the signal goes to my warm audio, WA412 API style mic pre, then into audio interface and, and logic. And then... It sounds like this, and then when I add the detonator, just to tighten it up a little bit. Let's so, use it without the detonator, because, you know, it's a bit sound, but uh, it, it, it'll do. Alright, so first let's check out the phaser and how it compares to the EVH phaser. So this G is not, this is the warp dimension. And what it has here, like I said, four kind of effects, depth, rate, level, and tone controls. And then the tap tempo, you can control the rate, the, the, the speed of the, you know, whichever effect with your, your foot. And then there's on and off switch, but it's on all the time because it's, it's in the G-Labs loop. So let's put it on. you gotta play that riff when you have a phaser. All right, then, then let's switch into MXR. And it's on the script mode. Okay, so it's a bit darker, deeper. Let's try to match the sonic case. Add more depth. Back at the tone a bit. Oh, my God. 
back to you next one. Yeah, it, it does the MX are pretty good. Yeah, cool, cool phaser. Not quite like the, the phase 90, my all time favorite phaser, but gets the job done. Okay, then let's switch to Flanger and compare it to the Bass BF2, old Flanger of, of mine. <laughs> You can see in here, you can change the rate with the knob or with the chat. the boss okay yeah the, the, it doesn't quite do the, the busty the really swooshy it kind of moves and it's almost like a 3d this old, old bus <laughs> to the warp. It's okay, but it's not the boss planger. I like the boss quite a lot more. You know, it's okay, but yeah. All right, then the the chorus. Okay, let's switch to clean channel, solid state clean of the ADA. Then the boss. Back 
to the warped. Bossy fight, still my favorite chorus after 30 years. I haven't found a chorus that beats that. Okay, but it, it's a good chorus, but I like mine more. Obviously, you have to remember, these are personal preferences, and I've used the, <laughs> this flanger, this chorus, as you can see, they're pretty used. I've had this since 90s. I, I'm so used to them. That's the flanger sound to me. That's the chorus sound to me. Warp dimension. Is different doesn't mean it's it's worse all right then let's check out the the tremolo The tremolo almost kind of like a chorus. Now with the really mild settings, it just adds certain depth. Add the boss chorus to that. much experience with, with tremolos like I said I don't have a tremolo haven't really used one I think never but you know based on my limited experience with tremolos it does a tr tremolo I, I can't really say whether it's it's uh, good or bad you know it sounds pretty good to me it does the tremolo so it must be good <laughs> Conclusion, Sonic Cake, Warped Dimension, four effects in one housing with a tap tempo. Uh, if I'm honest, like I always am, I'm not that convinced. If I want a phaser, I'll get a phase 90. Well, I don't have to get because I have Flanger, BF2 or BF3, old North Boss Analog Flangers. Chorus, Chorus Ensemble, my go to Chorus since 90s. So, tremolo? Yeah, I didn't have a tremolo pedal, so now I have a tremolo. So, if and when I'm gonna use this pedal in some of my productions and recordings, I will use it as a tremolo pedal, because in my opinion, I have a better phaser, flanger and chorus already.
Hey, hopefully you found this interesting. Thanks for watching. Until next time, all the best. Bye.